Do you see these, the beams? These are called the beams. Mm -hmm. Okay, which beam is bigger? The one on the foot. Which beam looks bigger? Maybe this one? Yes. So this one, if you can see, is bigger than this one. So here, I'll give you another one. Let's see. All right, here. So which beam is bigger? This one? Yep. So, again, this is the beam. So if you have a bigger beam, that helps with power, okay? And usually like the oversized or the pure arrows, they're, they're very, they have huge beams. That means it's a lot of power in, in the racket, less control. This one is a smaller one. So when I asked you about like if you play golf, the driver, which sounds like a driver, it drives it away, right? Is it this? Yeah, golf. The it's, the driver is a big, massive thing, but it, it's very lightweight, so it can make the ball go really far. So think of this as the driver, the bigger beam. And then you have a smaller beam, like the iron. What does an iron sound like? A heavy piece of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Heavy metal. When you iron your clothes, it's kind of heavy. You don't have any light irons, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So the iron is a heavier um, product and it helps control the ball a little bit better. So think of this as the iron, it's a smaller um, beam that helps with more control. And usually the rackets with the smaller beam, smaller head, it's a little bit heavier, usually. And the rackets with the bigger beam, bigger head, they're usually lighter. So does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got that out of the way.